Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back my name is Kabir from Visual Cube and in this video we are going to start doing some stuff in Blender. So this is the second tutorial from 3D Game Design series so support me on this journey by clicking that subscribe button and now we can jump in Blender. In the previous video we talked about Blender overview and some shortcuts but in this video we are going to go through some tools which you can use in Blender. All right. So as you can see here, we already have three objects in, in this 3D space. And each object has a position in that 3D space. For example, if I go here at our left-hand side and on this first option, which said select box, and if I click there and go here and select this box or cube, we can see in this, on our right-hand side in this transform window that location in 3D space of this cube is 0, 0, 0 meters and also rotation is 0, 0, 0 and uh, scale is 1, 1, 1. And for example, if I go here on this uh, bars and if I change the this X axis, for example, if I put uh, 5 meters, we can see that this cube is moved in this 3D space for 5 meters. Okay, so I'm going to move back this cube in in starting position, so I'm going to put zero meters on X axis. All right. For example, if I select these three objects in this 3D space, we can see that each object has this orange dot, and this orange dot is called origin point. And every object is governed by this origin point or this orange dot over here. So, for example, if I select this camera over here, and if I go again in this left-hand side toolbar and select this uh, option over here, which said move, we can see that move tool is in this orange dot or this origin point. And if I select this cube over here, we can see that this origin point is in that cube. We can also delete our objects over here and we can do that by going here and selecting this select box in our toolbar. And we can just drag like this with this rectangle and select everything what we want to delete. And I'm going to select all these three objects and click a delete key on my keyboard to delete that three objects. All right, if you want to move back that three objects, you can do that by clicking Control Z on your keyboard and that three objects which we are deleted before, we can move it back in our scene. We can also select objects from this uh, from this panel over here, as you can see, if I select camera, it, it will be automatically selected in our 3D space. You can also hide your objects in this window over here. So now we can start adding objects in our scene. So I'm going to select these three objects over here in our 3D space, and I'm going to delete that to clean our scene. So you have two ways to add your object. You can add it by shortcut and you can add it by going here on this button over here, which said add. And in this window here, you can see we have a lot of options there. And I'm going to go here on mesh and select cylinder, for example. And also you have this uh, window over here. And in this window, we can, we can uh, change vertices, how much vertices we want. We can change radius of that of that cylinder and a lot of things there which we are going to talk about in some other videos. Also what you can see here on this scene is this circle with this white and red dashes and that circle is called cursor. So we can select that cursor by going here on our left hand side in this toolbar and select cursor over here. So that cursor determines where your object will appear in this 3D space. So for example if I select or click somewhere around here so I'm going to click over here and if I go here again in add and select, for example, this metal ball and click here on ball, we can see that ball is going to appear in this circle over here. And again, if I move it over here somewhere and if I go to add and go text, we can see that text is going to appear in that circle over here. And if you want to restart position of that cursor, you can do that by clicking Shift and S. And we have this uh, so-called snap window. 
And in this snap window, we have a lot of lot of options there. We can just click over here on this uh, cursor to world origin and the position of that cursor will be restarted. And also we have some options over here for moving. So we have move tool, we have uh, for rotation, we have, we can rotate it in all axes over here, as you can see. We can also scale this objects. And we have this third option, which you can use for moving, rotation and scale. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you learned something in this tutorial. So if you learned something and if you want to learn more, smash that subscribe button for me. Like this video, share this video with your friends and grandparents if your grandparents want to learn 3D. I don't know. Anyways, Kabir here from Visual Cube and see you in the next video.